An air source heat pump comes in two main components. There's a box outside the house with a fan which pushes air over a coil. And inside, there's a tank of water and a lot of electrical gubbins. The tank is sealed and it stores hot water. And through that store travels a coil of water which extracts the heat from the thermal store and delivers it to the taps. And it works a bit like a fridge in reverse. So with a fridge, you have a small enclosed space that heat is sucked out of, whereas in a, an air source heat pump, you have an enormous volume of air outside the house from which heat is sucked and put into a small contained store of hot water. The water is stored in the thermal store at 55 degrees C, which is plenty for a shower, which you take at between 38 and 43, or at the kitchen sink, 55 is, is, is quite hot enough. The air source heat pump runs at a much lower temperature than a, a typical boiler. And for this reason, it runs more consistently over a longer period of time. With a gas boiler, you can turn it up and you can get heat out of it in 20 minutes or half an hour. With an air source heat pump, you just want to turn it on and leave it and let it tick over. So you, instead of doing this, rises and falls with your, your temperature in your house, you're doing this and it's staying at a very gentle level. Well, we designed and built this house four years ago with the intention of trying to reduce our carbon emissions. It's part of a whole system, including the fabric of, of the house, which is extremely well insulated, airtight, triple glazed windows. The house achieves a negative carbon, uh, so we're, we're producing more energy than we use. It's a complete system, and the air source heat pump is a very important part of it.